It's been 10 days since that massive fire at the Four Winds apartment complex in Fall River. Two elderly women died when their car crashed into the building, sparking a massive fire. Last night, I introduced you to one of the firefighters who helped to battle the blaze. And new tonight, we're showing you how the community is supporting some of the youngest victims. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima joins us with the story. That's new tonight. More than 80 people lost their homes in the fire at Four Winds. Many of those residents were children, and this week, the community came together to brighten what's been a very dark time for them. Santa Claus is working overtime this year, bringing some late holiday cheer to a group of Fall River children. She made a very innocent statement that I'm sure most of these kids were thinking about, and that was that she just lost all her toys from Santa Claus. I read the, the story about Zoe, the little girl that was infected in the fire, how she lost all her Christmas gifts, broke my heart. So I decided to put a toy drive together for the kids. A present parade filled the city streets Thursday, bringing toys to kids who used to call this apartment building home. It touched my heart to know that somebody cared that much about my little girl and her Christmas and enough to do all this. And not just for her, but for all the kids. The new year started tragically for these families who lost everything in this massive fire. It forced dozens of families from their homes one week after Christmas. It's been gut-wrenching, to say the least. It's hard to think about because 11 years, all of our memories, every single piece of our kids' past that we were holding on to is, is down there underneath all that rubble, and it, it's, it's really, really hard. All right, come on, watch your step up. Up. Several different departments in Fall River team up to make it all happen. The parade marched from police headquarters all the way to the community center at Four Winds apartment complex. I can't even think of enough positive things to say about all of this, all the good that's come out of something so bad. Donations have continued to pour in for the victims of this fire. For information on how you can support them, head to our website, WPRI.com. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.